Are you having issues with on trigger state 2D not working? Let's take a look at that in this video. Alright, we found us back in Unity once more, and in this short tutorial, I want to talk about some issues that you might have with triggers. So there's a couple of things that you can take a look. So right now, I have this area right here, which is a trigger area, right? So it has a box color 2D, and it is set to a trigger. That's quite important. If it is not set to a trigger, then of course, it's a normal collider, and you're not actually going to, well, call the on trigger method, whatever it might be, the state, the enter, the exit, it's not going to happen. Also, make sure that if you're in 2D, obviously, it has to be a box color 2D. Similar thing in the player, we need both a box color 2D as well as, and this is maybe the first thing, you need a rigid body. Otherwise, the collisions or the actual triggering is not going to happen. So that's quite important as well. And of course, if you have a script, so for example, I have this detect trigger script right here, which is going to output the entering of a trigger area and the staying in a trigger area, right? If you have this particular script, make sure that it is attached to the player over here, right? So you can see detect trigger in this case as well. And if all of those things are true and we go in, we can see once I go in here, you can see we're entering the area and staying in the area. When you make this collapse, I highly recommend that you click the collapse over here in the console you can see the staying stops working. What is this? But it says that it's staying inside of the trigger. This might be a thing that you are running into as well. And to change this, very, very straightforward on the player instead of the rigid body. In the start awake, you want to set this to never sleep. And when you set this and save this, and we go back into the game, I can now enter into the area and you will see it's going to continuously work. I mean, until the end of time, basically, until I, well, either walk out of the area, right? Because then, of course, the staying in the trigger area is not going to be true anymore and the method is not going to get called. And then if I go back in, you can see it's going to continue working. Absolutely freaking awesome. Those are some common pitfalls for triggers in Unity. Another issue you might fall into is using player press for important data. I'm going to talk about it in this video right here. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.